Hi everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and I'm going to show you how to assign a test in Think Central. So once you log into Think Central, you're going to go into your resources either by clicking here or here. And then you're going to make your choices. I'll show you how to assign a reading test. So reading, my grade is grade 4. Then I'm going to click into my teacher gateway. And I'm going to go to the um, test that I want to assign. The test is always on day five of teaching. So for instance, if I'm in unit five and I'm on lesson 21, I would click day five. And then I would scroll down until I see assessment. And in assessment, I'll have weekly test lesson 21. I'm going to click assign. When I do that, it shows up over here in my resource basket as weekly test lesson 21. So I'll press assign and then Think Central will pull up this page where I can put which students I want in it. First, I'm going to name it and I'll name it usually the name of the story or just lesson 21 test. And then student instructions you can just keep as due. You're going to select your class for this current year that you're in. So I named mine this year Nelson 2013. And then once I do that, it shows me all the kids in my class that I can assign to take my test. I have two kids that do um, Read 180, so they don't take our test with us. I'm just going to go ahead and add them all, and then I'm going to highlight those two kids and remove those two kids so that they don't have to take this test. And then once I've selected my kiddos. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look at the test to make sure that I want to include all of the questions that are in here. Now I know already that I don't, I usually just do um, vocabulary comprehension and grammar, so I'm going to unselect decoding because I don't do, I don't do those ones. Um, and then I'm going to press expand all and I'm just going to look through and make sure that these questions are ones that I want to include on my test. So once I've looked through them all and I've decided maybe I don't want the word, I don't want a certain question, like I might not want question six, what does the word figure mean in the sentence below? All I do is uncheck it and then it won't be on the test anymore. So I'm going to pretend like I've gone through this entire test, made sure all the questions are fair. I'm going to save the changes that I wanted to make. And then I'm going to go here, it says mastery level has to be 75%. So that'll um, tell me if my kids do not pass the test at 75% or better, it will assign prescriptions to them to make sure that they understand the material. So I click Save, OK. And then when I ever, whenever I go to my assignments list, which I can do by clicking Assignments and then going over here to List, I will see down here this test that I just assigned, reading lesson 21 test, the date that it was assigned was March 28, 2014. Zero out of 20 students have completed it. It has not been started by anyone. And I can either edit this by, like say I want to add back in my decoding questions, I could do that. I could copy the test or delete the test. This is to show them, show the answers that they got. So I'm just gonna go in really quick and show you um, one that was finished so if I say the Sacagawea one that they took if I click on results and prescriptions I can see down here it shows me which students mastered it and what their score is so these are all the students that mastered it which their score is and they still have prescriptions even if they're um, if they've supposedly mastered it like she got an 81 she got a B Usually it's the A's that don't have prescriptions, but the B's in anything lower do have prescriptions. And then if I go down here, I'll see the, the three that have not mastered the test. So then I can reassign a second for another test for them or print it out on paper and have them take it. So um, if you click on somebody that has not mastered it, you can say view and assign prescriptions. And it'll take you to all the things that, all the skills that they were supposed to learn in this lesson, and you can assign them to do 
these things if you would like. All right, so that's how to assign a reading test in Think Central. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave me a comment, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.